Yo, what is going on guys? JRed52 here, and today is the last game of the first round on the NCAA Basketball 10 March Madness Tournament for the 2020 NCAA Tournament. The final game of the first round is number 6 seed Iowa versus 11 seed East Tennessee State. My oh my, what a first round this has been. We still got plenty of action to come as we are about to enter the second round. I know I've taken a long time with this, and um, I'm sorry about that. I've been, you know, like busy back into the swing of things, but college, we're switching to online classes due to the COVID-19 virus, and uh, I've just been busy trying to keep up with schoolwork, so I apologize for taking so long with the first round, but we are in the last game, and I can't wait to see how this turns turns out. Will Iowa move on, or will East Tennessee move on? And is East Tennessee State move on to face Duke? Let's find out, folks. Got a lot of good size there. So does Iowa. Interesting. And let's have a look at the keys to the game for these teams here today. If they can get these things accomplished, they're going to have a good shot at the win today. And Iowa wins tip off. We haven't seen an upset on the downside of this, on the lower part of this bracket. I would like to see East Tennessee State win. They're going to go inside. Yep. Nice pass inside. Sorry if you guys hear some noise in the background. We've been uh, trying to get new flooring into our house, so I apologize for all that background noise. Oh, what a pass inside. Spin move, and they're going to the free throw line as Micah Williams has to foul him. That was a heck of a pass. And... East Tennessee State already making substitutions. That was quick. First one's up. It's good. Also, before I forget, um, I wish I could use uh, the current day rosters, but um. I looked around the internet and there's like no way of getting like current day rosters for any team anywhere. Honestly, it, it I've looked and there's just nothing and I could make I couldn't make like the current day rosters with like the current heights and players names and all that, but honestly that would just take way too long for my liking. So um I think for the re for the duration of this tournament since I've already done it I'm going to keep the names the same as of they were in 2009, 2010. Whatever the rosters were, I'm going to keep everything the same so that way I don't have to go back and change. It kind of sucks because I wish I wish I could use current day rosters to really make it more realistic and ratings and all that. But um, honestly, it is what it is, honestly. But, I mean, this is a hypothetical situation. We'll never know because the 2020 tournament's not happening. So this is all just for fun, just in case anybody is thinking like, no, this is so unrealistic. There is no way these te these teams will play so different. Like, I get that. This is just a hypothetical situation due to the circumstances of we can't get current day rosters. And like I said, it just takes way too long. Plus, I'm in college, and I wouldn't have any time to do that. So I just wanted to make that make, – just to make that claim before – before we like move on into the second round so hopefully y'all understand on on why i'm using names from the 2009 2010 rosters it's easier that way 
the heights and weights already in there. I just got to type in names if uh, they match up. I've had to do a little bit of um, editing, but I'm just rambling on right now. I'm losing track of this game. I just want to make I just wanted to make a note of that while I had the chance. So right now it is a tie ball game. Let's see if uh, Iowa can get the lead again. Fader, no. Let's see if East Tennessee State can uh, get some momentum going. Shot is rejected. Let's see if Iowa can get a quick bucket. Oh, it's a turnover. East Tennessee State driving in. Oh, what a spin move. Layup. Ah, way too hard. Three. Nope. And no, miss after miss after miss. I want to see this game going to overtime today. Last game of the first round, be the only game that goes into the overtime in this round. What a hook shot. Thirteen with the hop step layup. Oh, it hit the front part of the rim. Hop step layup, and he makes it. Okay. What is East Tennessee State going to do? Going into number one, jump shot. It's good. And look at number 41. You see him bobbing his head. Looking like he was at a concert. Just head banging. One shoot to three. Nope. And Iowa with the two-point lead at halftime. Can East Tennessee State get a momentum booster going in the second half? We'll find out. We we got five minutes left. Plenty of basketball left. East Tennessee State, they got an advantage. They're shooting way better than Iowa. So we'll see what happens. Thing is, Iowa's got to stop uh, their offensive game because if they don't, East Tennessee State can get momentum and they can they can make a run. But like I said, there is plenty of basketball left. Anything can happen, honestly. Oh, spin move? Shot? Nope. But East Tennessee State has a chance to tie this game up. Way to draw that foul, too. Tommy Hubbard. That's a name. First free throw is good. That looked a little, little bit right. Second one's up. It's also good. Oh, full court pressing. Iowa breaks it. Oh, moving. Oh, trying to get inside. Oh, and it looks like an illegal screen, and it looks like East Tennessee might get the ball back. Yep, and East Tennessee State gets the ball back. Oh, one driving in. And they take the lead. Somehow, some way. East Tennessee State's coach likes it. He's liking what he's seeing. If 
Fader. Nope. Let's see if ETSU can uh, take advantage. What a pass inside. Four-point lead. I'm, I'm telling you, that offensive game is coming into their favor now. Iowa can't stop it. You got to take advantage. Going inside. An another miss fader. Iowa's coach is not happy. ETSU driving in. They get rejected, but they get the ball back, and they are up by six. Playing well into their tempo. Iowa may need a timeout here. They they have not scored a bucket in two minutes, and they're looking a little bit rough out there right now. Actually, never mind. As soon as I say that, they score a bucket. Give it to 33. Oh, never mind. Pass inside, it's good. I thought he was going to get blocked there. Going inside. Oh, nope, that's a turnover. Iowa making their mistakes. On the left side. 33 going in. Nope, a little too hard. Iowa needs to... Oh, that nice dribble move there, sir. Iowa needs to get some buckets going. They don't have much time left. What a pass. Layup. And almost getting the end one as Deshaun Johnson has to foul him. That would have been a momentum booster for these guys if he was able to get the bucket to fall and go to the free throw line. First one's up. It's good. Last last game of the first round. You can't hold anything back. Down by four. Iowa running full court press. ETSU. They got two minutes to hang on to this lead. Ooh, almost a jump ball there. That would have been very helpful for Iowa if it was their possession of the ball. Which it would have not have been. So that would have not helped them, actually. Got to put some lockdown defense on these guys. Shot clock wasted. Three! Nope. Iowa gets the rebound. What is Iowa going to do? Fifteen, drive in, spin move. Ooh, give that guy a flagrant. That looked a little bit, a little uh, dangerous there. Devon Boinkle, he's a senior and he's trying to do everything for his team, making the first free throw, keeping his team alive, even after missing all of those fadeaways. Second one's up. It's also good. Running full court press again. ETSU has got to be more prepared for that. Both, both teams shooting 100% from the free throw line. One shoots. Is that a three? No, it's not a three. His foot was on the line. One minute left, folks. Iowa's got to get a quick bucket so that way they can uh, save the shot clock. Ooh, that was quick, but he doesn't go in. They don't have to foul yet. They got to play some good defense and prevent an easy bucket from going in. That's all Iowa needs to do. Going inside. He says he State misses it. And Iowa takes a timeout. 38 seconds left. Are they going to go for the three-pointer, or are they going to go for the quick two and try to play some defense? Iowa's not done yet, but 
they got to they got to play their best basketball for 38 seconds here. Here we go. Coming out of the timeout, can Iowa get a quick bucket and then push and then go into the foul game? Oh, nice pass inside. He makes it. They're going to have to play the foul game now. Again, sorry about the background noise, folks. Sorry about that. They're going to have to go into the foul game now. So Iowa better hope for some missed free throws or or at least a backcourt violation. Because that's what's going to... That's that's what they need is either a, a backcourt violation or Ooh, they almost got it. That was close. Here we go. One and ones. I don't I think Mike Smith, Mike Smith might be a power forward or maybe a small forward, so they better hope he misses it. First one's up, and it's good. Iowa fans, you better hope that he misses it. So that way you have a chance to tie the ball game. It's up. It's good. And Iowa's going to have to take another timeout. They need to draw something up quick. And here we go. 18 seconds left. Iowa's got to go quick. Who are they going to give the ball to? Shots up. It's no good. Smart idea to pass it up. And the point guard fouls out. But it doesn't matter because everyone's bringing in their bench players. What a game by Mike Smith. And we could be seeing the, another upset. It's up and it's good. And it's official, folks. We have another upset. East Tennessee State upsets Iowa. I'm going to be honest, I've never even heard of this team before, until now. And I've watched college basketball for pretty much my entire life, and I've never even heard of this team before. I must be living under a rock or something. And with one more pass in, Iowa can just get one more bucket to end their tournament run. Three's up. It's good. Why were they not giving the ball, ball to this guy earlier? 1.4 seconds left. And they're bringing the starters back in. They don't even know what to do with themselves. This guy is a bench player. Can he hit at least one free throw? He cannot! They just chuck it! Nope. If that would have went in, that would have been insane. But East Tennessee State moves on. As the final upset for the first round is official. And Iowa, they got to be kicking themselves. Mike Smith with a heck of a game. 12 points. I mean, I mean, most of them came from the free throw line. But, I mean, points are points regardless if you, if you, if you really think about it. So, heck of a game for him. As... East Tennessee State moves on to face Duke in the next round. What a crazy number of upsets we've had. And we were only just beginning, folks. And we officially have our first matchup of the second round. Number two seed San Diego State versus seven seed Arizona. The next episode that y'all will see will not be playing this game. We'll actually be giving a tournament update so that way y'all can see each matchup for each region and y'all can see the tournament leaders for um, for um, e each statistical point like points, rebounds, and all that. So um, that will be for the next episode. So until next time, guys, be sure to leave a like on this video. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And don't forget to hit that notifications bell as well. Don't forget to check out Super Saiyan 24's channel as well because he's, he's um, doing the same simulation as I am. He's already in the second round or getting close to the end of the second round. I got the inspiration from him to do this kind of simulation as well because me and him are best friends and and uh, we feed each other ideas. And since March Madness is not happening, we wanted to keep the spirit alive by doing a simulation of the final bracketology that was released. So be sure to check out his simulation. Subscribe to, 
to his channel. He just recently surpassed 5,000 subscribers. Make sure to get him to 10,000 as fast as you can because he truly deserves it. His channel link will be in the description below. So until next time, guys, have an awesome day, and I will see you all later.